So I don't know, Chad. Like, if you ever, like, have any questions, let me know. Good morning, good evening, good, it's technically afternoon, it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But I woke up, watched Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt for about a half hour, took a nap, woke up, and made breakfast, so. Yes, I took a nap at 10 o'clock in the morning, shut up! I just felt like doing a mukbang, I just wanted to talk, I didn't feel like doing like a video video. And I haven't did this in like, I haven't did anything in like forever, so. I figured, why not get some out there to the people. And also get to eat food, so that's pretty exciting. But today, I made breakfast. I didn't like order or go out and get anything because I'm broke. I barely have a way to get to work this week, yay! But that's fine, we're gonna make it happen. If there's a will, there's a way. Today's Easter Sunday. He's risen, so hopefully he'll help me out with my money issues. Yeah, I made some French toast. I some Vermont maple sausage. I made a little spinach and cheese. Omelette with some onions up in her. She's real cute, real tasty, real festive. Real bright. You see how bright and like organized and just cute this plate is? She's real cute. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about, but let's get started because other bitch is hungry. God is great, God is good. And I thank you for my club. Thank you for all the daily bread. I want to best taste hands. I prepared this food today. And. I hope I come into my website about it because I'm broke and I need like, to pay my bills and to like just pay off all my debt and like I just want to be able to go out and do stuff because like I'm broke and I'm bored and like yeah. Exactly. So how's everyone's day? How's everyone's weekend? How's everyone enjoying their Easter Sunday depending on when this video comes out? How's like how's life going for you guys? Um, for me, I guess, I, um, I'm about to start a new job, which is always exciting. Um, previously I was working as, like, a, um, a photographer for this company. Um, but I realized it wasn't really good for me, like, growth-wise. Like, I feel like me being there, I wouldn't really... I really wouldn't, in the long, like, long term, I wouldn't be able to go, like, right now, it, it was good because the money was great, and I was getting con consistent hours, but I just needed, one, obviously, more money is always good, but I, like, really needed to know that I was going to be somewhere that I'm valued, that I know, like, in one or two years from now, whatever, I can grow and I know I won't be stagnant in the same position that I got hired in. And then the way that the raise thing worked, I just thought was dumb. Like, I don't have six years or five years or whatever it was to wait for a $3 fucking raise. Like, that's just stupid. So, I love. And now I'm about to start working for this um, company as a home health aide. So I had to, well, I just finished my training on Friday. So uh, again, depending on when this video comes out, whether I do it today or whether I do it tomorrow, um, I'll probably upload it tomorrow. So technically it'll be today. Um, I'll be starting my orientation and going to go meet with my clients and things like that. So that's pretty exciting because working in like the home health field, I guess, has been something that like I always wanted to do. But not specifically being a home health aide, but working Oh you got your big toe in this omelet girl. She real cute and healthy in season. Ah! That's it. But um Where was I what was I saying? Oh, but yeah, like Working in like the home health field is like not something that I specifically wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to work in like the medical field and then I wanted to help people in some sort of way. 
So this is kind of, I guess, the best of both worlds where, you know, I'll be helping people and getting a start, I guess, in the medical field. So, you know, it's something, it's not exactly where I want to be, but I mean, it's something for right now. Um, mm. I'm so hungry, y'all. But, um, also, it's like, I want to move within the next year. Basically, by this time next year, I want to be gone from Philly. Like, point blank and the period. Um, specifically, I, mean, I want to move out of state. Um, if I can move to California, that's like the ultimate goal. I'm not sure. You're slipping, girl. You're slipping. But no, I want to move to California. That's like the ultimate goal. But um, if that can't happen, then I mean, I still want to move. I don't know where, but I just want to move. <laughs> um, I don't know. If I move to like California... Uh, I was thinking maybe New York City, but that's like too much. <laughs> New York people are too much. I'm sorry. Too much. And, uh, so if not New York, I guess, um, maybe DC. I don't know. But I'm gonna go somewhere where weed is legalized. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm gonna go somewhere where weed is legalized, like, cause listen, where I live at now, my plug is like dumb far, and I don't really get to partake as often as I would like because I'm not going all the way to West Philadelphia to cop up for my plug, just to come all the way back up to where I live at, which is an hour and like forty five minutes away. That's that. I'm a pothead, but I'm not that feeder, so. Um. But no, back to the topic at hand. Um, I do want to like move out and move out of state. Um, so another reason why like I'm really happy I got this job and that I really like start start tomorrow is because like I feel like long term career wise I'll always have this to fall back on and then like once I do move out of state, especially to like California I'll have a better chance of getting a job, especially a good job, um, relatively in this field as well. So it'll, I'm hoping this will provide like a smoother transition for me um, in the meantime. So, oh yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, other than that, I mean, I mean, it's just been chilling. Uh, although I'm broke, I've just been trying to keep money in my freaking pocket, trying to stay happy, trying to stay positive. Um, um, yeah. I'm going to try not to go too much into detail with that situation, but because I've always said that, like, I'm never going to be, like, a social media couple, or, like, I'm not going to be that guy. But... I'm gonna go. Yeah, I always said that. <laughs> I always said that like I was never gonna be that guy, or especially never be like that YouTuber that has to make every part of his life public and you know put their relationship out there and they they do that they deal with or whatever it has to be a part of that. Oh shoot! I wasn't gonna talk my friends about to fall off that game plate. Eh. What? It? But yeah, like I didn't want to be that guy to like put their relationship out there like that because. I envision myself being a part of the generation that didn't grow up with social media, so I just don't feel comfortable or don't feel the need to advertise every part of my life. But I will say that, like, I mean, I've been trying to like, see what's out there or whatever. Um, although I hate going through that process, I've been talking to someone for a little while. Um, I mean, everything was going good. Everything was going well. 
<sighs> but for me and for that person, like, I felt like we kind of needed time apart. Or to at least just kind of like slow down and like rethink some of the decisions we've made so far or just how we've been doing things or whatever like I just felt like we just need to evaluate this whole situation shit um cause on my end I felt like everything was moving a little too quick personally for me um and then also just thinking long term you know we both have stuff that we're dealing with we both have stuff that you know we're trying to get situated trying to understand and you know we're just going through it like period and period again thinking long term i just didn't think it'll be good for the both of us to put ourselves through this and then when certain events come up it'd be a big deal then because if you think about it like now like just us really sitting and thinking about it we just realized that certain things are going to happen and certain things are going to come up a year oh, excuse me a year or a two or whatever so yeah i just didn't want these things that are bound and like imminently bound to happen to become an issue later on down the line so i just felt like it was best emotionally and just life wise for the both of us to kind of cut ties now or at least just stay friends and you know i'll continue to help this person out and be their support and just you know just be there as a friend as much as this person is willing to do the same for me um and then also again going back to me moving i want to move out of state by this time next year and i don't think with what they're going through and you know just likewise i don't think it'll be good i just don't think it'll work out or you know they'll be able to come with me or if they couldn't doing a long distance thing i just don't think it'll work out so i just felt like it was best to just do it now before emotions and feelings were involved and then it was a bigger situation of what i had to be so uh, that's all y'all get anyways um uh, <laughs> we're gonna change the topic of that and i don't know i don't know like uh, a lot's just been going on so it's like Like, I'm broke as hell right now. I, um, oh, I mean, I guess. <clears throat> I went to LA for my birthday. My birthday was April 9th. Today's what? Easter Sunday, so April 21st, I believe. Um,. I went to LA for a week. I came back on the 13th. I think. Yeah. I came back on the 13th. I might have. I have fun. Wait, how'd it go? It was cute. I had fun. Some dumb shit like that. But y'all get it. I'll find me. Anyways. Um, yes, I had fun. Of course, we went to the beach. We was bougie white women. We ate on somebody's rooftop hotel. Um, we went to the beach. <laughs> I smoked. I mean, she smoked, but like, she don't smoke as much as me. They deliver the stuff to you out there. I'm in the bed. Scola. Which strain do I want today? It was amazing. And so, yeah, we just smoked, went to the beach, we ate a lot of food. <sighs> uh, we went to the club, we went to the Abbey. It was just pretty fun and entertaining. I got a lot drunker than what I realized I was. I didn't realize I was that drunk until I got home and this shit actually hit me. So that was pretty funny. I barely made it to the bed, but hey, it was a good time. Um, 
I saw what Chad Davis, the fucking, that fucking um, fashion model, uh, fashion model, fashion overboard with the dreadlocks, looking real cute and comfortable up in the area. But you know, he's not gay. I'm not understanding there's straight people that go to gay clubs, and I get that. But that vibe was like. He says, like, this is my crowd. This is my, hey, girls, like, hey, how y'all doing? His friends was alone. And I'm just like, ah. I don't know, like, your best friend is Flash Man Wade. Like, you just, you just all suspect around, sis. And then it's like, it's not like he came in. And was in the club dancing, having a good time, but like at the front, especially like near the bouncer, so he could have a quick getaway and quick easy out. No, this man was like deep into the Abbey. Like he was all the way in the black with the in, in the fucking um R room, if you catch what I'm saying. And he was like all the way in the back, like where I was, but by the back wall. I don't know, Chad. Like, if you ever, like, have any questions, let me know. I saw Tokyo Styles. Everybody sees Tokyo Styles, so that's not a big thing. She always around. Uh, met some really nice people. Um... Walked on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, I got interviewed by uh, Justin Sylvester off of uh, Daily Pop. So I, I don't know if and when that's going to come out, but be on the lookout for that. Because I will. And if y'all see it, let me know. Send it to me. Because I've been waiting for it to come out. Anyway, I haven't seen it yet. But. Uh, Life is hard. <laughs> Life is really hard. Like, I, especially being like an Aries, obviously, but especially being like a gay boy who grew up in the South. It's like, no. But especially just being gay or whatever, it's 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 hard because I'm only 22. But society pushed its pressure on you that like if by like 25 per se, if you don't have your shit together, then you're fucking doomed. Like, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right. Like, I... I feel like I've had to grow up so young. And I've had to be an adult for so long and like I just always had to I don't want to say take care of myself um but like I've just always had to be mature and like just do things normal kids shouldn't have to do um that a lot of people may not know about to kind of sum it up I feel like I've never really gotten the chance to gotten the chance to be a kid or be a child to an extent now I don't want to make that seem like you know I don't have any good childhood memories or anything of that nature um but like I feel like the essential like I just feel like the essential 
things that a child should exp- should have experienced or like shouldn't have not had to experience or gotten the ch- opportunity to feel or like have certain people in their life to teach them certain things or like just just a normal what I feel is a normal childhood I feel like I never gotten that the 100% experience I probably got like 40, maybe 35. Um, but yeah, so it kind of sucks feeling like you know, I've had to grow up at a very young age. So I feel I honestly feel like I'm pushing 40 right now. Like, I feel like I'm like 38 years old. Like, I feel like an old, not I'm not saying 38 is old, but like, I feel like an old man. Like, it's, it's annoying feeling like you know, you don't have your stuff together. Like, I'm, I don't want to say too much, but I'm purposely being held back by certain people. Uh, certain things in my life that require assistance, let's say. Um, I can't get done because certain people, <sighs> in their own bitterness, don't want to help out with that or do their part. Which is fine because it's only motivating me and pushing me harder to learn how to overcome these obstacles and just learn how to do certain things myself in my own way. But, again, just going back to, you know, what I was saying earlier, it's just like, I, it sucks not feeling like you have your shit together and only being like 22. Like, I still have a good 60 years of my life left. Like... I know I have time, but the anxiety and, like, my subconscious is constantly telling me, like, bitch, if by tomorrow you ain't got a million in your bank account, then what are you doing? (laughs) Like, so I'm just really just trying to focus on me and focus on, you know, getting myself together and realizing what and who I want and what I want out of life, what I actually want to do, deciding if. I want to go to school or not, which that's probably not going to happen, but still, like, I want to be able to, like, at least experience or experiment and try these things out, and if they're for me, then I was, obviously, I'll do it, but, I don't know, I just feel like I'm missing out on a lot of things, and it sucks not being able to do a lot of things that I want to do, and a lot of things that I, like, I see, my peers just easily willingly knowingly do. And uh, just seeing other people getting opportunities that, you know, I feel like I should have. Um, but I mean, it's whatever. Like I said, um, within the next year, I'm trying to move, hopefully to Cali. I have things that I'm working on uh, as far as this YouTube stuff. Uh, I've set a lot of goals and things of that nature that I want to try to accomplish within the next year or so. Uh, you know, I had to let some people go. I'm trying to gain certain people. I mean, I've lost certain people. A lot of people, actually. I've been trying to build certain relationships. I don't know. It's, it's hard. I don't know how I want to do this. <laughs> like... I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, like, this is annoying. I just want to be rich. I don't even want to be famous. I just want to be rich. That's all. I want to be known for my work and my talent, not me. <laughs> that's cool. I'm going to make it happen. I guess that's it. I don't even know what the hell I was going to talk about today. I'm not even sure how long this video is going to be. Um, not sure if that was informative or... A proper mutt bang. I don't freaking know, but uh, bear with me. The food was good. I was hungry. Just got to watch me eat and talk. It was a good day. As I say in almost every other video, be bold, be brave, be beautiful, be loving, be happy, be prosperous, but most importantly, be you because you're made to be put on this earth for a reason. And don't ever let anyone else tell you otherwise. Peace.